Hello guys, it is Pokecon14, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Episode 9. Well, for you, it's welcome. For me, it's welcome back. And this is not a door. In the last episode, we got here to Dodongo's Cavern after doing some other stuff that I completely forgot what happened. This time, we are going to be taking on Dodongo's Cavern. And bombing a door, that's how you get into the actual Dodongo's Cavern. So that was apparently not Dodongo's Cavern in this I don't know. So, this is the second dungeon of the game, and I expect my gameplay to be very good this time, because why? Well, I kind of already hinted at it. Navi! <sighs> Looks like there are many lava pits around here. Oh, you don't say. Watch your step. Oh, you don't say again. Oh my gosh, it's a lava pit, and I almost fell into it. So, yeah, this is my second time recording this video, because the uh, first time I kind of messed up and by messed up I mean uh, either I am a complete idiot and forgot to click the audio record button or I am not an idiot and uh, my game capture thing messed up so one of the two and in here all right glad I got this right first chest of the dungeon hopefully I got it right so in here we got the treasure map or the dungeon map I knew that Yay, so there's a dungeon map on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. That's oddly large. And in here, oh, we have a Deku scrub. I'm going to completely ignore him right now because I'm pretty sure he will sell you another Hylian shield. No, he won't. He'll sell you another Deku shield. Speaking of shields, you want to equip, e equip, equip the Hylian shield because it's better. Yep, just because it's better. In all seriousness, you want to... You know the lava and stuff? And yeah, that's not the extent of the fiery things that are in this area. There are many other fire, that was close, fiery things in this area. Besides just the lava. Like, hold on, I want to try something. So this button up there, spoilers, is eventually what we have to press, so oh, darn it. So I'm going to see if I can throw a bomb on there and make it press down the button for me. So... Aim, throw, nah. Link's too weak. So now I'm gonna stop wasting time and now do what we actually have to do. So these things, these are Beemos. If you go about them the wrong way, they suck. I mean, look at that, they shoot lasers. I almost said they throw lasers. Yeah, they can definitely throw lasers. Gosh, I mean, those things are really powerful, can't you see? Oh gosh, so these things are, uh, well, why don't we let Navi show you? Or, never mind then. I'm bad at this. Uh, well, these things are gonna come over here. These things are bombs! I'm gonna stop saying these things. Uh, I should have bioed them, but I'll go into this room and come back out, then I'll get another chance. In here! Uh, we get a keys! Hooray, a keys. We get a keys, guys. Isn't it beautiful? It's a keys. So, yep, go ahead and take that, and you got a gold sculptula. And you got a keys again. You got some more a keys. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, yeah, this is my second time recording this. Hopefully, my gameplay is better. My commentary apparently isn't. So, uh, yep, you just gotta deal with that. Oh, well. I don't need to kill all those keys. So now you can just go ahead and I can buy all these things. These are baby Dodongos, not normal Dodongos. Because they're not, I mean, yeah, because they kind of aren't. So now, classic pull these things puzzles. All right, so what happened? Oh yeah, uh, this video is out a bit late, but I've already explained for like the fifth time that the first recording messed up. So as much as I anticipated today to be a big homework day in my high school, because uh, as you guys may know, uh, I'm in a magnet program at my high school, which is a lot tougher than uh, the normal program. Uh, so it is more work and stuff. So I expected this to be a day where there's a lot of work, but there actually isn't because we took a test and lit today. But you guys probably don't care. And by today, it probably means like yesterday or a few days ago or like five years ago, depending on when you watch this. Oh gosh, have your sword out, Link. Or I mean, me or 
apparently. These things are levitating. These are Lizalfos. They, uh, there are actually two of them in this room. They'll come at you one at a time, and the other one's over there. I'll meet you halfway, buddy. You want to use your Hylian shield and Hylian shielding techniques for this. Just duck, wait for it to attack you, then jump attack, and then it'll run away like a little crybaby. And now I'll just look for the other one. And then you just gotta do this a few times. Hey, buddy. You're kinda wimpy. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> so, it's a crybaby or it's a. I was gonna say a, a dead baby, but I didn't wanna say that. Dang it, I said it anyway! Uh, I'm so smart. Where is he? Oh, hey, he's over here. Oops. Well, that was stupid. So, uh, I apparently can't swing a sword well to save my life. Alright, never mind. So I jinxed myself in a good way. So kill those two, Lizalfos, and then go on in here to the next room. So in here, uh, you will find a Deku scrub selling Deku sticks. I don't, I don't really feel the need to bomb that and tell you. Those are the bombs just in case you need to get Deku sticks because said Deku sticks are needed for said area. You just light one of these Deku sticks on fire and light these other three torches on fire which will open up the next door hooray now here we have regular sized Dodongos you can use Z targeting techniques and attack their tail and it'll explode like that just like the baby ones but uh they explode a lot bigger because they're not babies so button up onto this area and that'll open up that gate and I'm, I almost thought I didn't hit the button there I don't know if you do not hit that button you'll have to go traverse all those rooms again oh, look at my uses of vocabulary here yeah never mind alright anything happening in my life while I'm just doing my turtle impersonation while patiently not really just but I'm normally waiting for this thing to come up oh hey it's up nope my life is uh, quite boring right now. Not really, but, you know, what are you gonna do? So, but you are gonna do, actually, if you want to. You can bomb this thing. And I really don't know why I'm too tutorialistic, because, as you guys know, I'm... I mean, it, do it obviously makes sense, because I'm definitely the best gamer in here, and I know everything, and I'm good at video games and stuff. And what'll go first? Will all those bombs explode? Oh yeah, I should show that. So all those bombs explode. And then suddenly that knocks out nothing, and then the stairs fall, and, you know, physics. I was doing a thumbs up, but you guys can't see because I don't have face cam. No, I don't want to do face cam. No, I don't want to play my ocarina. Oh yeah, so, speaking of uh, ocarinas, this is actually nothing directly to do with ocarinas but uh i did download some video game songs onto my old ipod just because i kind of wanted to you're not dead seriously why are you not dead please be dead Can, will that dead you okay good you're dead <laughs> you died so you got to kill that guy i recommend using two bombs because it kills him and then you can open up this chest and it's gonna be the compass because i'm psychic this is totally not post-commentary. It's actually not, just in case you know. That, that was one of my options for uh, what to do about the last video, was just post-commentate it, but I hate post-commentary. So I'm just gonna go ahead with normal commentary, then Link's gonna climb these stairs. Do, 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 do. And actually, another reason why post-commentary wouldn't be good is because uh, the audio itself, the game audio is a bit messed up, which leads me to believe that I did not mess up and it was game capture that messed up because uh well uh last week oh come on never mind see you right back up there again i'm taking the other side now oh yeah there are 20 rupees in those pots you may want them okay so last week gosh dang it i'm interrupted again i can never say things uh yep did i just get rejected by the skull chilla? I think I did. You're gonna die in one hit because you're weak. 
So there's our second gold sculpture of the dungeon. There are actually three in this, so I've already shown two of them. The last one we won't come upon for a while, so I think I'm good to just go ahead and... Uh... Oh gosh, fire keys. I was saying something about fire in the beginning, and I'm getting off the topic of what I was talking about again, but these things will burn up your Hylian shield. No, they won't. They'll burn up your Deku shield if you have it equipped. So don't have it equipped because apparently you're bag or your cloak pocket or your invisible intangible storage doesn't get destroyed or can't burn on fire even though your entire body is on fire and everything else is fine the only thing that happens is you uh get hurt with that just your normal shield that you have on your back and not the one that you're storing under your cloak gets burnt i don't know but uh oh my gosh what was i gonna say again you know, if I was going to say something, I'll put it up on the screen, so. Yeah. Now that's going to look really weird if someone's just watching this for the gameplay. Maybe. I don't know. You can run past here. There's another fire piece, but screw you, fire piece. I'm going to go and walk into the store. No, I'm not. There's not a door there. I was just kidding. And hi, Navi. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Yes, I do. You can see it right there. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. You Z targeting to always look in the proper direction. Talk faster. It is useful, but I don't use it to look in the right direction. I use it because I want to and stuff. I use it to target things because I'm no good aiming without it. Not use. You know what? Might as well grab this. Grab this. Grab. Grab this. And pull it out to see what's up here. I think you're actually able to pull it over there. Get on top of here. You don't need to pull it over there to do that. So. Never mind. My mistake. Can't get into this wall, you need bomb flowers, but oh my gosh, there are no bomb flowers around. What's gonna happen? Oh darn. I mean, there's totally not a chest right there that I was just next to. Hmm. Is there anything back here? It's a heart. Someone trapped their heart behind that, and uh, it was actually inside that, actually. Waiting for the next person that traverses through this temple to find, and. Do not climb down the ladder, Link. It's all your fault. Link, you need to get better at video games. And easy chest. You can just kick it open. And you can find red rupee. Or 20 rupees from a red rupee. Now, last time, I was really bad at this. So hopefully I'm not going to be. Oh, first try. Take that, past self. Yeah. Stupid past self suck at everything same with the present self apparently because I can't fire a slingshot because I can't Z target or L target I can't Z target anyway but I can't L target so haha uh -huh, those baby dongos are just dang it well I was trying to sound successful but <laughs> nope and oh gosh hello Mr. Lazalfos ah you missed yeah, you got hit so, uh, so Link, get out of the lava. So I don't know how this is relevant, but uh, yeah, actually it is. But today in class we did a uh, in Latin we are doing a project where have you ever seen those vases, those Greek vases where they like draw mythological stories and stuff. Well, we did one of those on a pumpkin, and uh, we were able to choose our mythological monster that we were going to do a project on. I, uh, me and my friend chose the phoenix. And we asked if, uh, if the monster didn't have a story that we could draw, if we could use another one from, like, a fiction place to just make another story for it. But unfortunately, the phoenix did have a story. I wanted to use, uh, the phoenix's story from Kid Icarus Uprising, like, with the wish seed. But, uh... Nah. Actually, my first thought was that I wanted to do the story from this game, and oh yeah, by the way, defeat those two Mr. Lazolfo Sai, Zizz, and you can get through the store. Uh, I wanted to do Kid Icarus Uprising's uh, Phoenix story, and I think he said there was something in Harry Potter about the Phoenix, but I've read one and a half Harry Potter books, and 
I kind of got bored, so... Yeah. So this might be tricky. It's not tricky. You turn to the left and shoot those two. I think I actually did have to use a walkthrough for this in my first playthrough. But heck, I had to use a walkthrough for everything on my first playthrough. The only thing I didn't have to use a walkthrough for was the water temple. I am literally dead serious. Oh, crap. That might have been a bit spoilers, but, uh... But whatever, I think you've all heard about the water temple before. That's all I'm gonna say. So, I found a bomb bag, and I really shouldn't have said that. But I'm pretty sure people that are playing this know... The, or people that are watching this, most of them anyway, know something about the game. If not, how can you not hear the water temple? But, just in case. So, I'm gonna show what this thing does over here by blowing myself up with the bomb. You know, intelligence right here. Uh, my failed recording, I didn't actually go in here. What is in here? Oh, two dicky scrubs. These things are the most horrible salesmen ever. If you guys want to check out what they have, it's probably Deku 6 and Deku Seeds. So if you guys are curious, there they are. I have to go climb all the way back there. Gosh, my life is so difficult. And I have like one worksheet in chemistry to do, and and I wasn't able to get like my white chocolate frappe mocha thing this morning. Gosh, my life is tough. Anyway, I'm gonna go back over there. Oh, hey, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that transition that I think I'm, that I already have an idea of what I'm gonna do for a transition in the future. So, yeah, you can go back through there, and I didn't even make that much of a note of it, but we got bombs! Yay, it's a bomb! It's a bomb! It bombs things. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. For some reason, I stuttered in reading that because I thought that the word path would be in there, but... Excuse me, Navi! But, I don't know. So, now I'm gonna go ahead. Go over here, because I have to. I don't have to, but I have to beat this dungeon, so I have to. <laughs> Actually, do we have to go over here? Maybe. I don't know. I'll stop talking. Yeah, I can't stop talking for more than five seconds. Especially in a video, but that's not the point. Oh, hey, there's blue rupee over here. Uh, if you didn't... If you still have your Deku shield, then that will be the Deku shield, but if you don't, then you will get a rupee. So what you need to do now is drop a bomb into the giant dead Dodongo's eye sockets. It's awesome, then it sees red. Now, the other one, you could drop a bomb, but you know, you're just going to jump down into it. So, hey Bill, what do you do today? Uh, nothing much, just a daily grind, went to work, had a Starbucks. How about you? Oh, you know, I just stood in the freaking dead Dodongo's eye sockets while bombing it to make it turn red while standing inside of it. The usual. Yep, welcome to Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Alright, now you could do that and then a path opens. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. What's down here? Ooh, it's, uh... Keys! Keys. Uh, excuse me. That was not nice. Mommy, I'm getting bullied by these fire keys. They're not fire keys anymore. Actually, where are they? I want to bio them. Because it will... I think it'll say fire keys. Uh, you bio them right now, but I'm not actually sure, so never mind. So head on over this way. This is to your right of the map. For those of you that haven't been able to distinguish between right and left yet. Uh, anything over there? Nope. Ah, oh, it's a fire keys! Oh, hold on. Bio, 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 please. No! Yes! Keys! I'm gonna bio a fire keys, then it's gonna... That's the wrong button. I'm gonna see if I can buy a fire keys and get it to say fire keys. I'm not sure though. That's an interesting question. Did it didn't drop a heart? Fire keys. Uh, where'd it go? I'm oddly quiet right now. I'm not usually quiet. If in, that's creeping anyone out, sorry. So, I don't. Uh, no. Oh. You can just bomb this door open quite simply by holding the bomb up to the door. 
now what you're going to want to do is throw a bomb right over there and maybe a second one too because that's got you welcome alive and then you can go ahead and make it spin and explode and make it hurt you so quite simply there's another gold sculpture and i'm running low on health just in case i need to lon lon milk never hurts and actually i'm gonna drink it now because there is something something else can i drink it again you do get two servings of this lon lon milk I mean, that's probably a complete waste to do that right now, but... I don't know. I am I should have saved the second one for right before. Spoilers! There's a fairy coming up. Probably. Unless it, like, doesn't appear this time around. But I remember last time I, m I missed it because I did. Speed running tactic. Oh, never mind. Speed running tactics. There's a fairy. And I think you guys all know what fairies do, so no need in explaining that. And I'm not the one that needs to be explaining things anyway. But let's see, was there any topic of conversation that I had? There's probably one from before, but oh well. Now what you need to do is push this box in. Do not uh, jump down without pushing this box over the ledge. Or else you'll have to go full circle, and somehow that still stays up over there. Don't ask me. These fire keys are definitely going to be attacking me right about. It's not a fire keys anymore. Hello? No, that one's not fire, so. That one is! Oh, it's not anymore! Dang it, I wanted to buy a fire keys. Not a normal one. You guys are boring. Gosh, you stupid boring keys. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but slowly push this box. You are going to have to push it, uh, you're going to have to pull it at least once, or push it at least a few times. So I'm going to go ahead, so, just, I like pulling it once and pushing it the rest of the way. Just because it feels smoother to me to do that. But, you can do whatever you... Keys! Ah, die! Oh, one shot. Boom. Headshot. Well, I mean, all of it's your head, but... Oh, well. It works. So, what you're going to want to do is you have to bomb this. But I recommend putting the bomb down. Then, running, and over here, you get a chest. And in this chest is bombs. So, put the bomb down, then go get the chest with bombs. And now, here we are into the lair of the boss. Hey, only 23 minutes. Last time, the video took me 30. And I'm... And uh, that's with cutting stuff out, but I never ended up cutting stuff out. But oh yeah, I'm ruining the cutscene of the boss opening. Tra -la 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 -la. So this thing is the infernal dinosaur King Dodongo. We've seen baby Dodongos, we've seen normal Dodongos, and now this is Mr. King Dodongo. He is going to inhale the air around him, and that's going to make him susceptible to you throwing a bomb in his face. Then he's gonna roll around like he's a bowling ball. Bowling ball. So might as well navvy his face. This is a huge Dodongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish it off with your sword. Give it a shock. All right, Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. So as soon as you see its head uh, going up like that, that is when I recommend pulling out your bombs. And uh, as soon as you're done with that, highly in shield, stuck down, and this thing can't do anything to you. So if you do happen to run out of bombs, there are bomb flowers for you to use. They are a bit harder to do, but uh, it's not that challenging considering bomb flowers have a much longer time to fire than normal bombs, or much uh, longer fuse of detonation. But that's it. Three, four times later, you will defeat him. And does he explode like the rest of them? Uh, nah. He just turns to stone in a very pixelated fashion. I was watching his claws. That was kind of funny. Alright, so that is the uh, King Dodongo boss fight. So step right here. Step right up, ladies and gents, and get your hot container, dog. And then you can increase your maximum life energy by one, and this thing doesn't explode like the rest of them. You're lame. So now you can just walk right into the blue light. See, look, it's blue light. I'm inside the blue light. Now I'm going to step inside the circle of blue light. 
see him inside a circle of blue light and fine. So now the blue light teleports me from the ceiling to the sky then to the ground. Nintendo logic. And wow. Gravity sure doesn't affect those guys. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dongo's Cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. Uh, actually, it's only like part of the incredible story, so whatever. I can't believe that the Dongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave that we could have eaten to get into our food supply of rocks, but we're too stupid to figure that out. All this trouble has been caused by the great Gerudo thief Ganondorf. That gave us a giant piece of food that we didn't like because we're picky and spoiled. He said, Give me the spiritual stone, only then I'll open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. When he could have Ganondorf punched, I bond. Kid, I think I like you. Or, I like, I think he said I like you. Hold on, did I gain it? Oh, no. Flashback didn't. Oh, hey, I'm recording. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Oh, sure, just just, just make sure there's no ceremony. So he's going to take this as a token of our friendship. And suddenly, above his face, everything else gets dark except for this random red light that spins. And suddenly, appearing from that. It, so, when did it become nighttime? Seriously? You get the shiny, red, gold-plated, triangular, outlined Spiritual Stone. We obtained the Pokemon Ruby! It's Spiritual Stone of Fire passed down by the GameStop. Yeah. You don't know what he means by Sworn Brothers, but there's no ceremony involved, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, then you gotta get one more Spiritual Pokemon game. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Halo Mountain. She will power you up. I mean, it's the Halo Mountain for people that missed it. Not like Halo, the game, but, you know, like the thing, Angel. Angel Mountain works, too. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Then, oh my gosh, there's one, two, two, there. You did great. How about a big Goron hog, brother? Like, ah, guys, get away from Oh, gosh, they're surrounding me. They're gonna... Never mind. And in that, we are done with Dodongo's Cavern. Thank you guys for watching this episode. And then this enemy suddenly get back. Apparently they killed them off to try to go attack Link. Uh, maybe? I'll say that next time. So in the next time, uh, thank you guys for watching right now. We uh, beat Dodongo's Cavern, got the spiritual stone, pierce, uh, pierce, uh, the spiritual Pokemon game of fire. So now we have two of the, hmm, could there be two or could there be four? There's one extra slot here. Okay guys, what's two plus one of the how many spiritual stones? All we have to do is add two plus one. So on the next episode, we might learn how to take kindergarten. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. This is a really lame outro. Uh, so that's what I did last time. Keep doing this, and then that, and then that, and then you can mess with your camera. Bye, guys!